peripheral. And he started to look at himself. Let's see if the connection was around me, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Right? And it was done, and how did you connect it? I wrote him right anyway. Right? Start again, pay attention, very carefully, try to how it is you go about Right? Now I sense this one, as you start to lift it. Right? Now you lift it fully. Where's the internal rotation? It's not there. You lift it pure, right through the bone. Right? But here you make this one. And your pelvis is around the knee, and you don't have it connected. It's like this is way down here. And this is connected up into you. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Now, keep this long and lift the whole leg. Okay. You pay attention to how it is that when you make this move to lift the whole leg, or you can have just the movement too. How far are you back and how are you connected to it? Okay, good. Now let's watch what happens when you connect this one. Attention, this one's connected into you. Your, your leg is connected into your torso. Yeah. This one, you can see what do you initiate the movement to connect to the to lift? Down here, like it's not part of you. Mm-hmm. It's not connected into you as if you're going to lift it. That's it. Now, that's it. Don't want to push it down. And yeah, you're still connecting it there. What can you do with yourself? Let's watch it. Watch it. Don't keep it strong. Keep it long. Keep it long. Don't want to push it down. Keep it there. Don't want to push it down. Where did you connect that to? Up through your ears. Exactly. There's some way you connect it in your torso over here, right? If I take this away from here, <laughs> right? If I give you that, then it's going to make you aha. But now we do the same thing over here. <laughs> So this is a higher priority than your hips at this point in time because until this is this is solved, it doesn't make any difference what you do with your hips. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because because this will relate to your hips. But right now there's there's so much organization. That this is the you work around this all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the hamstring injury came later again? Uh, that was, uh, was that two springs ago?
There's no way. Which, four, which is your forward foot? Left leg. You watch ski too? Uh, yeah, I did for a summer. Left leg in front also? Uh, see here. Yes. You working for a contractor or are you still working for yourself? Uh, well, when I had a job, uh, <laughs> I was working for a small residential commercial company in Fernie.
Your dream card? Yep. How long does it take to get that in these days? Four years, 4,500 hours. Is there school in there or is that just all apprenticeship? Uh, for those hours? Yeah. That's working hours. It's like a 6,000 hour apprenticeship. Push it down. Where's the roll? It's not there, is it? Right? It's just really pure. Don't want to push it down. Excellent. Okay, so you take a moment again and you pay attention to this precise movement. Okay, don't want to pull it up. Okay, stop again. Don't want to pull it up. Excellent. Now, don't want to push it down. There you go. Excellent. Stop again. Don't want to pull it up. Excellent. Stop again. Don't want to push it down. Up. Start rolling. And you pay attention. Here's the plane again. It's a very precise plane. Don't want to pull it up. Excellent. Stay right there. Don't want to push it down. That's it. Don't want to pull it up. That's right. Don't want to push it down. Excellent. Oh, a lot of pressure in the hip socket. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I bet. And you started to activate something here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just really started to get activated. Mm -hmm. As you're used to having your leg there. And this movement makes you have a connection of your femur into the joint like that. Yeah, otherwise it starts to roll. It starts to come up this way. Yeah? Which if I could if I could push it, this would be coming out backwards. This is taking it into the joint. Yeah? You visualize that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just trying to check out which way how you're how you're getting this. Right? So that's gonna connect you to the socket very differently, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. Now this changes the way that this, the attachment you have here to here, really differently. Because if you're here, that attachment, then you're going to have to recruit all this. You don't use this attachment the same way. sense. Now, which way did your lower back roll when you lift this? Roll toward the side that you're lifting, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, find out is your lower back going away from the table or toward the table? Same the table. Into the table. 
and you have a sense right in here. Is the movement coming into you or coming away from you? In other words, is the movement coming into you or is the movement going away from you? Okay. Let's see into. I'd say into. Okay. Good. Now let's find out what happens with this one. Where did you get from? I'd say away. I'd say away too. I would say that this hip is actually blowing away and you're lifting someplace funny. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Like, now lift it. Okay? Now lift it. Which one is more clearly connected? Left side. Left side. This one I can keep almost what's happening, can I? Mm -hmm. Because you're, the way you're connected is you're going out here rather than having it connect the hats yet. You're not bringing your leg into the point of connection and into the ground. That's right. That's right. That's right. Stay there. Keep that connection. That's right. Now lose the connection. Now use the connection. That's right. Ah, oh, don't be pull. Good. Now, slowly, in order to lower your leg, don't let me pull, don't let me push, don't let me pull, don't let me push, don't let me push, don't let me pull, don't let me push, don't let me pull, don't let me push down, don't let me pull up. Good, stop for a moment, do nothing. And connect it again. That's nice, slowly again. Now there was a hesitation, wasn't there? A little split second. Closer. Clo that's it. That's it. Excellent. Even used to having your hip there. You have a sense that when you have your knee here, there's a sense of this coming away and falling away from you. Right? Now, you make the connection so that you have a sense that you wrap this leg into you. That's it. And I'll take it the other way. It's where you're used to. That's it. Now, if I just keep it there, if I push into that, I'm going to run into something, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Now, slowly you make the other connection. That's right. Now if I push here, you're going to be in a state where you're being able to receive that movement differently. Yeah? Now, again, lift your leg. Good. Now there's a little bit of work here. It wasn't quite as pure yet as it was. That's it. It's just your skeleton you're lifting. You don't have to worry about any of this other stuff. It's just the pure, all you have to think of is this relationship and this skeletal connection and this skeleton connection dropping off. All you're trying to do is lift the skeleton. That's beautiful. Yeah? Your skeleton doesn't weigh very much. Mm -mm. Yeah? So relatively speaking, you have plenty of musculature to just lift your skeleton. All right? All right, now check that against the movement to this one. This one's better than that one at this point. That's it. You see the subtle movement that you have to make to really make it so that that one is just absolutely. See, when you catch this, nope, that's muscular work. When you catch this just right, you have a sense of it. it's just weightless. That's right. Okay? All you're lifting is the weight of your skeleton. That's it. Okay, now lift one after the other. Make the little shift that you need to make. If, the, if you catch that there's a moment of hesitation or there's a little bit of muscular activity, then you stop and you start over and you take that moment, you sense it, and then you reorganize it so that you can make it more and more the way that you want it. That's nice. A little hesitation for a moment, huh? Okay, so the moment you 
You'll know the hesitation. You'll know about the hesitation prior to the hesitation, won't you? If you paid attention, you actually knew prior to that that, there was, that it was, wasn't quite right. That's enough. Now you're getting it. That's it. Now, get this one. A little hesitation. That's it. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> That's better. That's better. That's it. That's it. Stop. Stop. Excellent. Yes, for a yourself again. That's nice. Oh good. You can do it any way you want to. Lift one, put it down, lift the other, have lower one as one's coming up, whatever you want to. You can play for a moment. That's it. So that you make the movement as pure, as weightless, with as much sensitivity and skill as you can bring to yourself. That's right. That's right. Now, what will you do to make it so that this leg sits in the acetabulum as if it's going to come up and through you? That effort, just having this sitting in the acetabulum, that's right. You know what the acetabulum is, right? Of course not. So I'm just talking Greek to you, right? Mm-hmm, sometimes. <laughs> Why didn't you ask? <laughs> Here, get a book or Google it. <laughs> Google it. Okay. So it's the part of the pelvis that the, 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 the head of the humerus actually sits in. So it's that, that space, the joint space, that the, that the femur actually sits in. Right. So, so and, and when this is done properly, the, the head of the femur it isn't the spacing, it keeps an even spacing around from the acetabulum around the joint space. If the skeleton still there. This starts to expose itself to the rear, and that joint space starts to be exposed a little bit. Okay. So when we organize this properly, so the femur sits in, you can see that the joint space around is evenly distributed. 
You want to stay around? Mm-hmm. Now look. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So when it's properly organized, the femur, the, trans- the transition from the femur through this, through this arch here, takes force. So that it's coming into such a place that you're sitting on top of the femoral head in a very, very few, few degrees. But you press, it puts the pressure up into the spine, directly up to the spine. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you're not on the, the top of the femoral head and you're falling off it. And so the transition force, then you have to use muscular tone to catch you, but then I have to force that to go up and through you. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. So it wasn't Greek. <laughs> Not too Greek. Right here, wherever my finger go, you initiate the movement. That's good. Right there. Good. Wherever I initiate, wherever my fingers are, you initiate the movement from. Right there. Start again. Right there. Right there. That's it. Right there. That's it. Right there. Right here. Right here. Good. And then right here. Right here. Right there. Come on. Not there, huh? Stop the moment. Is that? Don't let pull. That's right. Don't let pull. Better. Better. Turn the bottom, right there. Good. Okay, right here. 
Don't let me pull. Right there, don't let me pull. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Better. Now you got it. Now you got it. That's it. That's it. That's nice. Now you're going to bring your feet, your lower leg under your femur into a different place. Mm -hmm. Now lift your, lift your lower leg. That's it. Stop again. So you can sense right in the joint how the joint is. That's it. Right in the joint. Right in the joint. That's right. What you have to do to get that set, that pure movement right in the joint. That's right. Keep it there. You know, keep it there. Keep it, keep it up. Don't let me push it down. Yeah, that's what really makes that work. Yeah, look what it's hooked to. Yeah, clear to there. Good, stop it.
back to standing. And as you go, you lift the inner edge of your foot, you rotate your lower leg, you rotate your femur outward, that's right, and then you lift the outer edge of your foot, and you bring your leg back to standing. You lift the inner edge of your foot, you rotate your lower leg, you rotate your femur, and you bring it back to standing. Okay, do that on your own once. That's it. That's it. What's the matter? That's it. Go back again. That's it. That's it. Rotate the femur. That's right. Be very sensitive to the femur. Don't. Uh, it's your not your hip joint. It's the, actually the femur going into the joint. That's right. Okay, come back and bring it back to standing. You think of all of these components. The inner edge of your foot, your ankle making this movement, your lower leg making the movement, even making the movement. Excellent. Thank you. 
down as you come, you're going to have to lift the pelvis and come forward. Yeah, that's right. That's right. One more time. That's right. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. That's it. Foreign as most things to me there, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little violent, You're welcome. I've never done it before. Oh. No. Now. Find the back room. Seems like you're fine. Let him be open. Good. Now. Come towards me. Put your head. Take your leg back towards yourself. That's right. So you really come up. That's right. And go back down. Do it again. That's right. Good. Come up onto your knees. As you go down, put your butt, heels, your bottom on your, he, your heels, pay attention. Right there. See how the weight came into the middle here? Nope. It didn't go out there. It went in there. Hmm. It didn't go out there. What happened to your back just then? What happened to your back now? Uh huh. What does this do? Yeah. <laughs> As you're sitting, it's really different, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, come back up. It's a little bit bizarre, but let's, let's, let me help you with it. Let me, where's the skeleton there? Let's put it here. We're going to do the exact same thing we've been doing to the skeleton. We're in a different position, right? So we're going to lift the inner edge of the foot in such a way that when you lift the inner edge of your foot, it's going to rotate the lower leg outward. It's going to turn the femur. Instead of turning back, it's going to turn the femur this way. Everything's going to come this way. And rotate the leg. So we turn that around. The femur's going to come into the, into the joint. Instead of out of the joint. We take this and we go this way and you go down. The, the femur is going to be going trying to go out of the joint. If we go the other way, the femur is going to be trying to go into the joint. Yeah? Okay, so we're going to try to do the same thing here. So that should go down. You're going to lift the edge. That's right. You're going to rotate this. You're going to rotate this. That's right. Now, if you pay close attention, you're really ready to spring out of it. That's right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. You're cocked in there, aren't you? Yeah? Mm -hmm. and so if you want to fire, now you're ready to fire out of it. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. yeah? Now go the other way. Mm -hmm. The way you used to go. Where you had your weight there. That's what you have here. Try to get, then you try to get up and hurry out of that. Yeah, it's slow and straight through here. Right. Give me the other rotation. You don't give it to me, you give it yourself. That's it, that's it, that's it. Now, pay attention. That's it. Now come back again. Fire up. That's right. Now go back the old way. The old way. Yeah. So you don't hurt it. You have to work? Mm hmm. Quite a bit. You use muscle work to do it. Yeah. Right, not organization. Yeah, you know, the back. Uh, that's a lot of pressure for the knees. <laughs> Good, now fire back, the, go back the other way. That's right. Now come back to that. Uh -huh. Yeah, huge. Huge. Yeah. Just made your squat. <laughs> if, we, if we do understand this with your squatting or with deadlifting, mm -hmm. you just significantly became more, more efficient. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. That's right. Now you're really ready. If you, if you want to, you can just hop 
Yeah. Off the back right off the table. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were just jumping, right? Yeah. Okay. Walk we'll around for a moment. See what it's like to walk through. Mm -hmm. If you like that. You went down before, when you were kneeling. You went down in the same way. 
It is for posterity. <laughs> <laughs> 